Welcome back, my best of the best, light and love crew, and my most ethical, ethical, ethical crew. Mmm. We have to live under the same umbrella. So, we're going to mind our own castle. And, um, I was questioning Angels of Light and Love. I wasn't questioning you, but Angels of Light and Love, I kind of welcome you in. To direct and protect these messages, my chakras, my auras, my space, my work, and that of our children's. Thanks so very much. Oh. Yesterday... Um, a may or may not producer stopped into work. And, um, it was weird. Like, it was just intuitive. I mean, like, anybody in the right sense that had a pair of ears could could see that came from that realm. It was just way too natural. <laughs> but I don't want to be one of those, like, tap dancing crews. Like, oh, <laughs> what can you do for me? <laughs> and I think that's what they're used to. Because, like... I could, I could actually see when he was putting an ear out, like, what, what was the comeback? What was, you know, what were you going to say into the mic? And, um, I just, you know, I, I think I was just in observation mode and the newness and all of that. Um, um, yeah, I don't know if work, my current job, uh, you know, my current regular job, um, brings that out of me um i mean they bring good things out of me you know i i've got to say at least that that it's a healthy relationship <laughs> so i'm starting off well <laughs> mm. anyway why did i even bring that up i don't know dude i don't know where am I going with this angels before I conk out? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, oh, <laughs> I started to question whether or not I should do this reading. Uh, just get on here. Because I really, really, really don't want to do the paperwork right now. But I know it has to be done. And I will do it. But I just... Bleh. And I'm eating my oatmeal. I want to have I want to have a good time with my oatmeal. Um with um peach yogurt and uh, some brown sugar on the top and a splashy splash of milk it's delicious so i don't want to i don't want to have bad taste in my mouth and so um i don't know if i was just making excuses so i just love spirit and this is um the first card that came out two of wands two two of wands and um Um, he, um, I think they're just saying, bring it, bring your magic to the table, whatever it is that you want to do. So I am here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was encouragement. <laughs> we can have brunch together. It's 1239. I just got off of work. <gasps> mm hmm. Mm. I have to start clearing out the fridge. Um, eating the stuff, like using the stuff before they go bad. So, two of swords on the right side. Unblocking. Mm. Paving way. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm, so we have master number 22 here. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, master partner? <laughs> I don't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll look that up. The Empress in reverse, okay. I'm blocking, okay. Paving the way, paving the way. Mm. Oh, Spirit is saying basically roll out the freaking red carpet for yourself, Tina. See? 
like the red wine unwinding and unwinding on the on there. The red carpet is on the recipient side. When you look at when I look at it, it's on the left side. I know it looks funky over here, but um, it's definitely on the left side. So the red carpet is given to me, kind of like what is it? Um, the you know the fruit roll up that's like fruit by the foot. <laughs> that's that's what's gonna have happening. And then, so this is the doing side. So I'm gonna pave way and roll out the red carpet for the Empress. Um, so when I get it, it's kind of like, it's um, in reversal. But when I'm showing it to you, it's for entry. That is what's happening. Okay? You gotta do that. Top of the deck, five of cups in reverse because we're leaving behind something. You see, that's the back of things. We swam... You know, like how we dove into <laughs> the abyss of, you know, like, okay. Sometimes it's like you're happily swimming on the top or whatever. And, um, we have, I, I haven't really done a super deep dive. And when I did, <laughs> um, um, I, uh, that's basically, you know, having to say goodbye to, um, many attachments. Um, even... <laughs> the attachment style of attaching. Does that make sense? The attachment of the attachment style. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like that. Um, so anyway, we did that. We say goodbye, 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 goodbye. And so we're at a midpoint. Or at least I am anyway. <laughs> and I'm about to move forward. <laughs> What's behind me? What am I backpacking? Oh, the chariot. <gasps> I was going to tell you. I was trying to do a, a intro to a series of uh, on TikTok, but TikTok just couldn't take it. And I was going to carry it over to here, and I'm just tired of duplicating. You know, if it's not meant, it's not meant. But um, about the chariot, help me remember, angels. <laughs> um, forget about your troubles on the 9 to 5. Come along and ride on my fantastic voyage uh, yeah that wasn't the original song that was um provided oh gosh why don't I remember <sighs> well it's okay I'm gonna let it go something about the chariot though The, the, that series was, um, what do others find indisputable about us? Oh, it's about making a getaway. Okay, let me, fantastic voyage. And it was meant for only me, <laughs> because I, I pretty much programmed it that way. If it doesn't go through, then I'm not going to take offense to it. I'm going to, um take part in um asserting um in in my own inputs in um uh, my reality and um what i'm going to do is that what is it it was the lover's card in reverse at first and then um it's like the something about bonds there was six, and then the nine of cups. Okay, so the nine of cups, because I was like, 69, what? Um, <laughs> there was nine um, of cups in reverse on my recipient side. So we have, like, undercover relationships. Um, because not everybody, like, cares for you. And therefore, they don't care to hear anything great about you. Um, and so you just kind of, like it's not for them it's just for me and that's why you know some things are um better left unsaid or unshared with um because i appreciate it i'm not gonna let anybody rain on my parade anyway um yes and there was something about i got the seven of swords which was um, something about like oh okay there was karma which was the um judgment card and it either came in reverse or accentuated and it was saying that it um i couldn't remember how it fell 
but um, whether it's, I remember deciphering it as um, when it comes, it's going to come accentuated. And it, there was an eclipse, um, an eclipse of a sun or at least the moon. And um, the, we were noting the drastic changes between the eclipse and um, when it's fully shown, whether it's the moon or the sun. But I got that it was the sun, and it was just such a drastic change between um, the two visualizations and the effects caused by them. And there were three people holding hands, um, like facing it. And there were so that's our kin sharing in that wealth of um, beautifying energy um, resonance. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so next came was, was the seven of swords, and it was. Um, us saying goodbye, I think it was a five of cups, five of cups or something, or it's not, it was something else, but it was also saying goodbye to, what is it, I'm trying to remember it, um, maybe I'm not meant to remember all of it, but, um, that we make a getaway, <laughs> you know, it's, we leave with our pride, um, and that's our one up. And we leave the two two other swords behind, and um, it's kind of a blocking for um, from others who wish ill will. Okay, that just bear ill will, and um, and so what we compared it to was like we're trying to like run away from something that is chasing us, and so we throw a bookshelf to hinder them. That was the two of swords right there. So anyway, it's kind of interesting that the Two of Swords popped up over there that um, we repurposed it as a clearing. And um, so anyway, saying goodbye to that. Um, all right. Um, anything else that you want to say, Spirit? So that's why. Um, oh, and then the lastly that came through was the King of Cups. The King of Cups. But it's... Oh, wait. Wait. These three... Oh, my gosh. How did the... Okay, so... The, what? That's kind of strange. All right, whatever. Okay. But, um... Yeah, it's here now. Oh. It's here now. What... What was I mean, that scared me a little bit? Maybe in my heart, it's gonna be weird, but like the three of pentacles. Okay, th there's something weird about how these cards were positioned. Leave no stone unturned. This affects work, okay? Um, my whatever opportunities there are, like I'm an alchemist, and um, there's something about to be birthed that's like that nobody else shall know about, okay? So we've got the chariot. Again, the five of swords right there. Mm -hmm. um, ten of pentacles. And the lover's card. Oh, but anyway, king of cups right behind us. You know, spirits. Um, guarding and protecting me. Okay. Chariot. Five of swords. Yeah, this is just for me. Hmm. But it affects work. Opportunities. Like, it's good. It's good. Yeah. So I didn't keep that, um... Hmm. Gentleman, producer, guy. May or may not. Um, I didn't try to talk off his ear. I didn't... I didn't do any of that. But, um... It's, I just find it interesting sometimes when people are really good at what they do and it just comes naturally. You know? So, bottom of the deck. Oh, wait, we are here. Yeah, okay, three of cups. Okay. So, there's celebration to come through. I think it's now time to um, change my alarm battery. Um, if it. If it keeps on going after this reading, then I know for sure. Um, if not, then we have to pay attention to the emphasis of when it chimes, okay? When it rings like that. Um, 
that's it's it's a marker mm -hmm. all right spirit what else do you want to say Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. He's like, for sure, Tina, for sure. Hmm. You're, you're banging, you're growing up, you're glowing up, you look fantastic, you are fantastic, and here's your trophy cup, Gatorade Splash. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I got a lot of love here. And... Da, 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 da. You know what? I When I was working like fast food in a different only I think one of the places that I um worked at I um I it was weird like I just started making like true eye contact um rather than like doze off days off or whatever and I really I remember really liking that so I tried it again today and people really do enjoy that you see someone's soul rather than um what this current life um presents um yeah has us represent us so it's um it's it's just such a better connection and so um yeah i i i tried that today and it was effortless i was like holy shoot i forgot it <laughs> yeah i forgot that it mm, there's simple things like that that i could uh, i mean it it just feels like I am way more present and I, I am that much more present with the sentience that is right in front of me. It's, it's a matter of respect and, and value and um, I just like that. So um, like with minimal if no fear. Um, why do we say that? Oh yeah, I don't know why I brought that up but Okay, so maybe, yeah, I think I just need to change it, because that one was kind of random. But, um, all right, Eight of Pentacles, and what fell on my left heel, Page of Wands. Hmm. So I'm Starting something outside. Something's calling me out. Um, calling me out. We started with the two of wands. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Look. So you see the cat. I was like, where did we see the cat? And I just kind of like, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to like go through the cards because they're already stacked. But then you see, because that's this cat right there. And again, out there. So something is calling me outside. Oh, you know what? <laughs> my, someone within my light and love crew is calling me out in a way like, hey, check this out. Because someone has sized me up correctly. Because you see that wand right there? The red carpet thing? Holy freaking moly. What? Hey. You know, check this out. And they're calling others to see my work. Are you kidding me? That's sweet. Yeah, so, you know, the best thing that I can do is just focus on my own, um, regardless if that reality is or isn't or is in a different timeline or whatever, but I, I really feel like that's present, because, like, somebody who is calling me out, like, it brings out their inner child, like, they, they totally get it, totally get it, um, and having their familiar there, which is like highly intuitive and um, cleansing within that aspect of just providing clarity. Um, it's, it's like they get it on, they get it on a logical level as well as um, like um, an intuitive occultist level as well. So I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I mean, I like just the fact that, um, people really understand it. Mm -hmm. And 
You know, that's great because how could you not appreciate something that you do understand? Mm, and because to understand is to mediate a, like a leveling of um, internal worlds um, from what is presented on the outer. Mm -hmm. I'm being told to say that when, people, when you're confronted by people who continually say, I don't understand, I don't understand, I don't understand, what they're truly saying is I don't want to understand. I mean, minus the language barriers, okay. Like, I want to understand, or can you help me clarify, or I'm just seeking clarity. So that was something I used to repeat to my ex when we get into these arguments. And I didn't realize that he was pr purposefully running me in circles. I didn't know what a narcissist was. I didn't know that there were techniques like this. I didn't know that there was anybody who would deliberately do that to someone, um that you know you were intimate with that um <laughs> and very giving to and you realize <sighs> um what do i want to say about this fair what are we supposed to say about this okay let's just get to the point of it rather than digging ourselves into that whole thing um like, I remember I used to plead. I remember I used to beg for understanding. I remember, like, it's not that I'm not listening to you or, you know, I I just don't understand. Please help me understand. Please help me understand. He's like, no, I'm tired of it. You don't fucking listen, blah, blah, blah. You're so, like, so, no wonder you don't have any friends. So I've had friends. Blah, blah. Uh, so that it's like, oh, get me out of that spirit. Like, sorry. Help me get out of that shit. Okay. Um, so I'm just seeking clarity. Can I please... Is it not wrong? I mean, is it wrong to seek clarity? All I'm seeking... I was trying to speak in logical terms. Like, I just want to understand. Please help me understand where, what it is. Like, and then when he would, like, go through, like this whole like vomit of like bullshit energy um it was like it was like what a bully would do like like rounds of punches until like you're at a pulp and like slow down because you you he sees the will in you somebody sees the will and you like diminish and die and die out so you don't and you're lost and like you it, as to what to say where to start and um and they're not giving you a chance to speak or to clarify or whatever or they see it as an interruption or disrespect or not listening again and and so um uh when they finally give you a break <laughs> after that pulp stage um you find, well, at least I remember trying to manage to muster up, like, my points in it. And it was always, like, it was hard to get into the mode of conveying things because he said, like, so much, like, 45 minutes worth without, like, I just had to sit there and take it. And, um... You know what? Um, I'm no longer there. Which makes the now and the whole package of what comes with it um, so worthwhile. <laughs> so much more valuable. <laughs> it helps me. It gives me um, motivation to keep going forward. Yeah. And so, you know, like, there's a second, like, tinge to that where, 
you know, I, I'm, I felt disappointed in myself and, you know, I, I just, I forgive myself. <laughs> it, um, I have to say to myself, water under the bridge, old Tina, it's, it's okay. We're doing better now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and, um, and then when I would say something no more than five minutes later, he would come out with the same thing. That's how it would last for literally hours, like six to eight hours. Do, do you know how much energy siphoning that is? Do you, do you understand how much, um, brainwashing that is? how much cruelty that is, how many hours put in within my, my freaking occultist internship that I didn't know I was racking up, um, time in, um, being out in the field, uh, doing my homework and observation. I think that's why I'm very good at what I do. Because I'm so used to people telling me otherwise. Telling me nothing or nothing of truth. So, you learn how to um, discover other ways. Mm. That come more naturally. Mm -hmm. Doing side. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, coming out of the dark night of the soul. Like, we did it. We did it. This is um, an ace card. Spirit is saying it's an ace card. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing nine and in reversal, it's six. So instead of like the previous 69, it's, it's 96 here. Give me a second. I was, I couldn't remember. It was like 96. I thought it was 96 till infinity, but I didn't look it up because I was like, I just needed a break there. And it was actually 93 to infinity or something. I don't remember what they say in that song, but it's kind of like hip hop or something. This is how we chill from 93 till something. Um, something like that. Anyway, I don't know what that has to do with here until I actually see it, but. Um, all right. So we have the seven of pentacles here. Um, but what turned it up is the Six of Pentacles. So we're advancing six to the seven. Things are balancing out. There's something that, um, some elder kind of, like, matured type of energy. This is like the Hierophant as a younger, you know, um, younger phase of life that they're giving back to, like, the community, ch the children. So, they, they're they giving balance. Like, this is, like, the bomb uncle or aunt, you know. Um, giving it up to the next generations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like Santa Claus. You see, like, that fur around the neck. <laughs> Definitely. This is definitely, like, really good, like, uncle or aunt energy. There's something about this hierophant within their younger phases. Like, this is, they didn't really, they didn't care about the title. They didn't care about, um, like, it, it was irrelevant for them. They were just living in that energy. And so, advancing from the six to the seven here. Um... There's something about patience. Mm -hmm. Um, there will be a harvest. Mm 
what, what's the um, clarifier to that? What's it? Oh, okay. Um, six of Swords accentuated. Excuse me, on the doing side. Oh, okay. So we have six, seven, six here. Um, I'm seeing, you know, row, row, row your boat. Life, um, all right. Something. <laughs> why, why am I forgetting this? Um, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Um, Hmm. Oh, it took time to get to where I'm at. Yeah. Like, uh, don't, don't let anybody else's opinions, um, muffle, um, our own take. Mm hmm Because, um... There are some haters that don't even think that they're haters. They're, they just have this opinion like they they don't, they're perturbed. They are irritated by the fact that, not by the looks of what they call fact, that we just got here, <laughs> that I just got here, and I'm being given these things, this much power, this kind of um, fertility, um, that it's kind of undeserving. That it's kind of spoon fed, silver plate, you know, silver plated, that kind of thing. And they don't realize. Um I think there's what am I hearing? Some kind of love, some kind of hate. Um uh, oh. Um, that's the misfits. I go is that the name of the song? Kind of love, misfits, some kind of hate. Okay, well that's what I'm feeling here. Knight of Swords. Um, um, and on top of that, on top of that background work, um, things are moving fast for me because I'm a fast mover. I'm a fast learner. Yeah, this is a fast learner card. You know why? Because it's a freaking armed unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Usually the in this card, the traditional look of it is that the horse is frightened, is scared, but no. The the horse is unicorn status that they're willing to charge through also. Mm, yep. This is good stuff. Okay. Top of the deck is queen of swords in reversal why do we get the queen of swords in reversal right behind that is justice because they're saying hold your tongue tina hold your tongue you don't need to say anything more okay because justice is here justice got your back and it's actually activated right now you've activated justice you've called the shots you've called those that needed to be called out out okay over this course of like this journey within the past few years yeah, you've called everyone out that needs to be called out. And cumulatively, things are being, like, struck right now. The ground is shake, um, shooketh. <laughs> yeah, um, but definitely it's, um, it's here. What's in front of justice? <laughs> okay, they've had me pull these three cards. Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles in reverse and Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, yeah, so again, the angels have released me and um, I don't need to micromanage it. Like, hands off, Tina, um, because you're, this is meant so that you can go and find yourself. Like, find your own happiness. You see, I just realized that there's a dolphin creeping up in the corner. Like, go, go and be with the stars. That's so cool. Do you see that? He made me pick three. I only wanted to pick one, but um, 
And you told me to keep it. <laughs> so that's eight, four, eight. Are they? Hold on a second. I gotta write these numbers down. Six, seven, six, eight, four, eight, six, nine, and nine, six. I feel like I'm playing like the lottery here. <laughs> uh, I should probably do that. <laughs> but um. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy. One last card for an owl spirit before I go to banana grams. Okay. Ten of wands. Hmm. Hmm. It's doing the work. Hmm. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on, yeah. Same. If it's all right with you, I'll rip this one up, this something apart. Back middle to the front. Don't front. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um All right, so there's that, okay? Um I'm trying to remember all the lyrics, but like it's it's just a, a flood here. Okay. Now it is time for the banana grams. Oopsie. I feel like my person is like right here. It's weird. It, and it's 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 like I would kind of I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit because um I don't look has <laughs> I don't know I don't like um I I'm not as I don't know Blah. this is not date night material right now <laughs> it's okay I'm saying this because I got off of work working from 6.45 to 11 and I got hot fast but along with being like all pretty dusty and um and um what was I gonna say? Getting all like dusted up or whatever. Um, came back home, decided I was I needed to rearrange some things like work on my plants, and I did that, and I got real sweaty a bit more than I wanted to. <laughs> and so um, I took off my pants, and um, I'm eating like freaking oatmeal, <laughs> and. Um, I'm still feeling sticky and I'm doing this and my rolls are rolling over and um and so like I don't it's just not sexy time <laughs> that's what I'm saying okay we did things legitimately to get this way and so I I just I don't know it's okay so you're saying it's okay if I love you, they'll really love you. Oh, A is accentuated. Bringing in our uppercase A game. Mm -hmm. V, E, L, L, S. Ooh, slave? What? I'm hearing. I'm a slave for you. What? Um. Okay, anyway. Mm, T. D U P T V H G W O N B A R A E E O C I S I L U I <laughs> score B 
Bang. Mm -hmm. Alive. Mm. Range. Mm. I see DTLA, downtown LA. Or I mean Los Angeles, you know. Um, I'm seeing whales. W H. A L E S like whales as in the place as well as whales, you know, in the sea. Um jeez. <laughs> Alive. Doesn't like Pearl Jam somebody listens to Pearl Jam. Um I I'm just starting like I've heard their music before, but I don't remember like I just I don't know all of their stuff. Okay, so alive. Hmm. Score. Score is like also like marking something like scoring bread, scoring tallies, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it's also, um, score like, um, a masterpiece of music. <laughs> masterpiece. A master at harmonizing. That's what spirit is taking. Thank you. Hmm. I got the chills. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hmm. Brave. Braves. Is that um a baseball team? The Braves? I don't know. Anyway. Am I supposed to put the names together here? <sighs> Serena, Tina, Trina, Ariana, Ariane, Elaine, Etta, Ellis, Elias, Alias, Cringe, <laughs> um, Corey, Cora, Corliss, oh my gosh, Corliss, mm -hmm. I think that's the first time I've gotten Corliss, Corinne, but with only one N. Iris, Irene, Renee, Diane, Diana, Ben, Bernie, Do I have a Y here? I almost got Bentley, but I don't have the Y here. Ringo, Rango, somebody lives in Las Vegas. So D DTLV as well. It's very in close proximity. So um, somebody likes, oh, you know, that song, um, uh, Downtown. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I wasn't sure if that was something that I needed to divine, but it, it came through from my team. So something about downtown. Um, Raiders. I'm getting Raiders of the Lost Ark too, not just the team. Because I have Lost here. Um, an arc, only if you have C. Oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark? Um, but we have arc, like A-R-C, like Joan of Arc. I think she's C. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, um, Wood, like W-O-U-L-D. Could, mm -hmm. and should. <laughs> what would could and should that's what spirit is saying if you want some kind of a mantra like a takeaway that's very very simple if you're not spiritual or whatever if we don't 
if we're that much of a contrast, um, what will help resonate, what will resonate with you is the phrase would, could, and should. Mm -hmm. That should get you started. I'm seeing Athelia, Athelia, Alethea or something like that. Um, something about the truth. Give me a second. I want to look that up. It's important. I'm feeling it's important. So I'm going to read it. I have to find it. Instead of finding the card, um, instead I'm just going to go through the book. <laughs> Hopefully I can find it. I think it's one of the in, one of the initiate cards. So I just have to, oops, <laughs> I have to look towards the back. Alethea. If we have it, I'm going to put it together. I'm in fact putting it together because I believe we have it. T-H-E-I-A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have Theo. Thesis. Um, Thor. We have so many names in here. Like, dude, seriously, Will. Wilbur. Hmm. Willis. What you talking about, Willis? I didn't do that very good, but some people do it on point. Hmm. Oscar. Leia. Syringe. And syringe. Somebody um, gave up some kind of... Something about syringe is like big here. Um, what were you going to say about that? Oh, we also have orange. Orange. Mm. So that's a sacral chakra. And my favorite color. <laughs> okay. Um, Eric. Ernie. Ernesto, Arnie, Arnold, Arnaldo, Dupree, Stan, Lance, Steve, Stephen, Gear. Oh wait, Gavin, Nora, Paul, Paula. Paulina, Ethel, Edie, um, Lisa, Lori, Lena, Lorraine, with only one N. Ron, Rachel, Risa, Rico, Benji, Bingo, mm. Victor, Vince. All right, Alethea, gosh, okay. Truth. <laughs> there we are. Okay, our soul recognizes truth. When someone speaks it, a cool wave of wa relief washes over the room, and all facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Alethea. It is an, an undeniable... Is it an... Uh, <laughs> it is an... Oh, 
frick. It has an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognize Aletheia by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Aletheia card requires us to step forward and act of step toward an act of truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings. Set it free. Set you free. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Uh, come into my planet soul. <laughs> we also have planet here and soul. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. Fine. Set you free. Planet, 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 soul. Okay. And you know that, that beat that goes along with it is very much um, um, the same as real love. Mm -hmm. With Mary J. Blige. Mm-hmm. I couldn't, like, it was hard for me to figure out what it was that was very in link with what I've heard before, but that beat that goes in, um, in Planet Soul is, is very much also encased in real love. You can hear it. But Mary J. Blush. And now, I, I figured I just let it go and it'll come to me when it comes to me. And so, it is here. It's, it's so crazy now I can hear it like so clear even the static behind the beats um, clarity revelation disclosure oh my gosh I just finished um, a reading with Alethea coming like migrating it because I remember hearing like Picasso said we all know that art is not truth art is a lie that makes us realize truth at least the truth that is given us um, to understand So, um, like, I remember disagreeing with that, but now that I'm reading it here, um, art is showcased, um, according to, um, usually the, um, artist's vision. No, always the artist's vision. And sometimes that vision is to portray someone else's vision or, a, you know, like a collective vision. In any case, um, there's something, um, that is like has a marketing concept appeal to it and um from what i understand marketing um uses different angles and different lighting techniques in order to portray something like to sell something basically to materialize something um and so i guess i could understand a little bit more from where this is coming from But I, I, I like, I'm still a little like, eh, with it, you know? Um, okay, so we have truth here. I like it. I like it very much. Um, again, so having this as a truth, I feel like justice is here for ver very good cause. And so they're saying kind of hold your tongue. Because it's time for others to, to, um, you know help chime in for you oh yeah for sure for sure for sure okay so um planet soul mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Mm. i'm having caribou i see caribou too Caraboo, 151 rum, pineapple juice, make it all numb, something, make baby girl come out of her shell, something, caribou, blue, okay, give me a second, I need to put it together, hmm, C A R I B O U 
or is it just you? Give me a second. I spelled it right. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but I didn't know a caribou looked more like a moose than a yak. But okay, yeah, we learned something. Oh, VP, something about a VP here. Or VIP, something like that. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. I really feel like that. I don't know why, but okay. Hm. I don't know why I have whales here. <laughs> something on like beneath the surface or something big underneath the surface. Oh, killer whales too. I see that killer whales and I just you know, I've been hearing spotty news about, you know, orcas and all of that. Um, but something about the whales here. And it's insane because I told you I had that dream a long, like, it's a repeat dream, but it's a very, very intense. Um, there's these ancient, ancient um, sea creatures, ancient animals that are, um, that live in waters um, that are, like, there's more water than earth or is like something about extraterrestrial type of energy and i've had this repeat dream like a lot and they are bigger than any other sea creature that is documented here you know they're that big and i remember being in a spaceship um um but i i had to like work around um this big body of water like this huge pool that had a few swimming in there and i was terrified of falling in even though i know it's friend like it's i don't know friend is the energy behind it but they like i'm i'm good energy to them like i but I was, there's something to be respected as far, revered, as far as keeping, I just felt like I had to keep my distance. Like, not that they were going to hurt me on purpose, but possibly by accident. Like, I, it just, they're so grand. So, um, but I never fell in. I was just at, above them, like, observing them. And I would never do anything bad to them. They were like just so, so big. I just, I remember being afraid of not knowing what I would do if I fell in. And I remember feeling a panic about it, but not thinking that they were threatening to me. I just, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but anyway. Um, oh, I see lovers as well. <laughs> it's hidden in here again. And, um, L-O-U-V-R-E, something about that? It's a museum. Mm-hmm. Um... I have Patagonia here. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that was from Patagonia, like a long Patagonia. I also have Pangea here. <sighs> I do have Pangea here. Hmm. Okay, instead of whales, I think I'm supposed to put Pangea. Hold on. Yeah, 
I feel like I'm supposed to have Pangea there. And I'm supposed to put should here. I don't know why. Something about... I have some kind of ancient knowledge. Like, way, way ancient. Because I have... You know, like we just said, would, could, and should. And... I have the option of either doing would or should because could the C is already taken and I'm told to put should. Hmm. <sighs> Viva something about life on Viva something Viva Pangea, something about that. I don't know. Why am I getting this information? Why? I'm getting chills all over. I don't know why I'm getting that. There's something about that. I don't know what. I still have the chills. Holy smokes. I have goosebumps. I don't. I have S, L, and T, W left here. List, caribou. Lost. Silt, Silva, Saliva, Visa, Travel, mm, it's about traveling. You're saying I'm supposed to travel to there. Not anybody else. Just I'm supposed to. Hmm. Ellis. Elsa. Vault. Mm -hmm. Something about West again. So working with the water element. Is that why? Why? Something. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Something about us. Do I have L left here? Yeah. Something about, yeah, also working with the water element that's, that I'm going to know more. Something about that. Mm-hmm. Me. We have should. Something's on the down low here. Mm -hmm. I got the chills major. Mm -hmm. Should. Is there something on the down low here? Something about an LP as well. Hmm.
Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you what everything looks like in just a second. Um, actually, I'll just put it together here. Do, 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 do. Where is the chariot card? Did we not? We put it down, didn't we? Ah, excuse me. This is very good. Okay. Do we? Uh, the chariot's right there. That's so good. Like, what? How could you? Like, seriously, so good. Hmm. Um. I'm going to fix this thing here. <laughs> Got to cover myself up so I can take a photo. Alright, anyway. I'm going to show you. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm trying. Give me a second. I just dropped a couple of things. Tina, I'm trying. I'm so trying. Do we? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you pretty? That was wonderful. And you're wonderful, Tina. You're absolutely wonderful. In your face. Oh my gosh. It's, I'm just, things are. <sighs> I had to unplug my phone, and then this and that happened. And then hold on. There we go. That's what's happening there. Oh gosh. So anyway, now that this reading is officially over, I thank my sponsors, my supporters, all donations provided in light and love. Thank you so very much. Um... Ja ja. All right. Oh shoot. Thank you for your donations provided in light and love. I certainly appreciate it. Um. Now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, my supporters. Oh gosh, I'm so like. Let me just wake up here for a second. Okay. So. Thank you for you for your respect. For my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of our children's. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Okay, you know what? You know what? That's okay. We're just going to fix it like so. All right. Thanks so very much. All right. So, um, now that this reading is officially over, upon closing all portals, I send all energies back to their appropriate locations outside of mine with your appropriate karmas due and assisting with that rollout. In line love, I close all portals. Now.